So welcome to the January's edition of the top three applications that will just help you get the most from your device. Now your device could be the 4K Fire Stick or the Nvidia Shield or maybe the Chromecast with Google TV. And I'm sure you'll find these applications useful. Now, the regulars of my channel know that I do a top three streaming application type video once a month. So if this video does well, like maybe if it gets a thousand likes, then I'll make this into a monthly series as well. So the top three useful or handy or just really good applications that we could use across all of our devices. So do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So the first application in today's list is APK Updater. Now when this application starts for the first time, it does a complete scan of your system and then it shows you if there are any application updates available. And these updates can come from the Google Play Store or from FDroid or from APK Mirror or Apto TV. So lots of different repositories. It doesn't matter where your application came from. You can now use this single application to update them. Now, before you do anything in this application, if you get down into settings and we can see we have four sources from where we can get these updates from. Now on the Amazon devices, because we don't have a native built-in browser, I recommend that we turn APK Mirror off because those links or those updates, they actually make you go to their website. Now on the Android TV devices like the Shield or the Chromecast, you can leave that on, but just on the Amazon devices, I recommend you turn this off. Now also because this application has become very popular, you may occasionally see issues uh, regarding uh, API tokens or token dispense errors. So all of those errors are typically related with Google Play. So if you have that issue on your device, just turn off Google Play. So that means on your device, you'll only get updates from Apto TV and also from FDroid. Now if you go to the bottom here and go to applications, now here, for example, we can choose to ignore certain applications. And what that means is, is APK Updater will not try and find any updates for them. Now, I think in my last video when I covered this, I think uh, there was some confusion that uh, if it says ignore, that means it's not ignored. So let's say, for example, I want to ignore the Aurora store. If I click on that, we can see we have the option to unignore. So by default, everything has ignore next to it, which means you're not ignoring it. And if you choose to ignore it, you'll then see unignore next to it. So that's how you basically see which applications are going to be ignored and which ones are not going to be ignored. Okay, so let's now go to updates. And let's see what my device has available for me. So here's an interesting one. So in my last video, some people asked that they can always see updates for Downloader and for IPVanish and certain other applications. But when they try and do an update, they always get an error. And the reason for that is, is certain applications like Downloader, like IPVanish, those applications can only be updated from the official Amazon App Store. So the other versions that we can see here are for the Android TV devices and not the Amazon devices. So you won't be able to update Downloader on the Amazon Fire Stick through this application. But let's say for example, I want to update uh, this application over here, a very popular application. We can see I'm running version 2.0.1 but Apto TV has 2.1.3. So let me now click on that. So one click straight away, it's now pulled the update from that repository and it now gives me the option to install it. Let's click on install. And that's how easy it is to update applications through APK Updater. Here we can see mouse toggle, I'm running version 1.06, but 1.12 is out. So again, I click on that and pretty much instantly we get the update. I can click on install. And just like that, my device is now running the latest version of Mouse Toggle. So great application, very easy to use, and it will allow you to update all of your applications. It doesn't matter if you install them from a website or from Farlinked or from anywhere. We can now use a single application to bring those updates for all of our applications. So that's the first one in today's list. Next up, we have Fast Task Killer. Now, this is a fantastic application, works perfectly fine on your Android TV devices, your Chromecast, and of course the Amazon devices like the 4K Fire Stick. And what this application does, it doesn't really have an interface or a menu, literally just open the application and it will close off as many background processes as it can. 
and there we can just see on the top right that my device currently has just over 240 megs of free memory and as you guys know the more free memory that your device has typically you'll see better performance and as your free memory starts running out that's when your applications typically start buffering now this application fast task killer doesn't really have a menu or an interface or anything to configure just one click count to three seconds and we can see that my free memory has now boosted to just under 500 megs so super easy to use and i just recommend that before starting your movie night or your streaming session just open this application once flush out all of the background things and your device will just perform so much better and you don't have to worry about your vpn because this will not terminate your existing vpn connection so that's the second application which is fast task killer and if any of you guys are still with me then if you leave a like on this video and the comment hashtag fire tv then i know you made it this far in the video which i really appreciate i'll then heart that comment and the last application in today's list and by no means least is easy fire tools now this is an application that you install on your android phone or your android tablet and if you don't have any of those you can even use an android emulator on your pc or even mac let me bring mine up now when you start this application you can click this button here at the top which looks like a mouse and this will basically do a scan of all of the devices on your home network whether they're fire sticks or the android tv devices and show you which ones you can connect to the only slight bug i found when you're doing this through an emulator is it doesn't seem to find any devices now the quick fix for that is is just find the ip address of your device then go to the hamburger menu on the top left go to settings and where it says fire tv ip here you can enter in the direct ip address of your device that you want to manage or connect to so my 4k fire stick ip address ends in 121 let's click on ok and let's now click on the connect button and that's now connected now once connected through this application we can now push applications to our device we can manipulate the file system we can copy files we can move things around we can rename things we can even take complete backups of the care application so let's say you've got that installed on your device you've installed maybe a custom build or maybe some custom add-ons you've configured it you've changed the theme all of the settings that you've done i can now go to the hamburger menu go to media center go to uh, backup now through this i can click on backup give that a name and this will then connect to my device and back up all of those custom configuration all those add-ons everything will be backed up to a single zip file once that's done i can then use the same application make another connection to another device and then just push all of that configuration directly onto that device so that really is one of the best features of easy fire tools uh, we also have the task manager so this is now showing me the applications that are running on my device i can also take a screenshot so i click on this icon over here so if you want to take a screenshot let's click on ok so through the adb connection easy fire tools is now taking a screenshot of my fire tv stick and it should save that to my gallery okay so there's uh, something saved let's check the gallery <laughs> and there's a screenshot there guys so taking screenshots works absolutely fine you can even record video clips directly with this application so really just an all-in-one swiss army knife kind of application where you can install things you can copy things rename things and manipulate the file system you can close off background tasks take screenshots take videos and take a complete backup so lots of great features in this easy fire tools okay so to get any of these applications just use downloader or your favorite browser navigate to my website once you get there let's click on the hamburger menu and click on tutorials and the latest tutorial will be the top three applications for january 2021 so let's open that up here we are so here are the three applications some information about them uh, how to enable the unknown sources and underneath all of that you'll see the three direct links for those three applications so click on them let's say i want a fast task killer and then click on the green download button so that's how you get any of these applications onto your device so that's all for this video guys many thanks for watching as i mentioned at the start of this video this could potentially be a new series where i do one of these videos once a month trying to show you the best apps and utilities available for all of our devices so if you want to see that 
Make sure you like this video. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.